Hi everyone, today we're gonna unbox the Super Saiyan Trunks from Tamashi Nations. This figure was provided by HobbyGenki.com. So make sure you check them out. They sent this figure for unboxing and reviewing. So let's get started. So here's uh, Future Trunks with the Saiyan armor. So this figure itself has six uh, hands. Again, two added into the figure. Then we have three face plates, uh, two outside and one in the figure as well. And then we have the arm cross um, on the right. Uh, this figure itself was $35. It's it's cheap. I, would, I wouldn't say cheap. I would say affordable because the first one was around $60 or $65. I can't quite remember. It had a base form uh, a head sculpt. But again, for $35, this is a good start for, a per for someone who doesn't have this figure in their collection. So let's get them out and see the articulation. For articulation, the head goes up like this. Again, it can go that far, further because the ponytail, then it goes down and then goes side to side. Careful, the face plate might come off. And then uh, tilts a little bit. The neck has some articulation, but I don't wanna move it. The arms go like this, T position. And then the butterf uh, butterfly goes this much. And that will help us for to install the arm cross um, accessory that comes with the figure. Again, we have bent on the on the elbow like this. Um, it goes this far, and then we have a little bit of articulation here on the wrist. Torso, uh, we have this much articulation. You can actually move it this far or go this way too for nice um, poses with you know doing some battles. Again, um, it the only articulation it's on that it's available here is just the top area. Uh, the bottom one is just one piece, so you won't be able to do that much ab crunch unless you modify it. Um, and that's something that you might have to look up in another YouTube video, but you can actually modify it from the inside, cut a little piece of plastic, and you'll be able to bring this down a little bit further down. Um, again, I won't do it here because um, I don't want to take your time. Okay, now the bottom area of the figure, you can, you know, just rotate it this much on the waist. That's, that's plenty. And then you can do a 90 degree extension of the legs like this part. And then you can bend the knee this much. That's how much it reaches. So you can see here. And then it goes uh, up this way. So you, you can definitely get some nice uh, poses uh, doing kicks and, and whatnot with uh, these trunks. Uh, the only downside is, you know, um, just be careful. Um, this this middle part of the of the figure tends to be on the way. So you won't be able to kick as much unless you move the legs. Um, or just, not the legs itself, but just move the, the armor enough so you can extend it even further. Like this. So just be careful because you might end up breaking it. And... Um, what else I, I, I need to mention? Oh, okay, so the this area here on the legs, I mean on the on the feet, um, it's pretty, it's decent, it's not the best one. There's always that issue with the machinations not being able to figure out how to do a nice boot um, articulation that feels natural. This just doesn't feel natural at all. And then you got some uh, toe, toe um, articulation as well. Again, doesn't feel as natural. Hopefully, uh, when they do a three-point version of, of, of this body for Vegeta, uh, they'll be able to figure out and make it look more uh, natural than what it looks here. Again, this is a $35 figure, um, and this is a good uh, option for people that don't have this, this uh, feature trunks from uh, the Cell Saga. So again, um, uh, it's it aesthetically, aesthetically looks really good. There's areas that I, I wish they would have uh, improved upon, but again, this is just works as a repaint rather than a rework. Next, let me show you some comparisons with the original version. So here we have a size comparison or a comparison with the original and the new release. Uh, as you can see, the colors in the new release are matted uh, I wouldn't say matter, sorry. They're saturated. They're just rich, rich, and 
the yellows or the browns are more saturated as well so they look they look better to me uh, i think they were going with a more uh, manga aesthetic uh look when you know the manga gets colored it gets like it, the, the the blues are not that rich but this one's more look like like anime and then again the original has the base sculpt uh the base form sculpt of of trunks which this one doesn't um again i wanted to show you the the super saiyan uh face as well which is which the yellows are more matted compared to the re-release which is uh more shinier and more i don't know it just it looks good but i, I just wish they would release um this type of um uh, yellows for me personally so again um it's it's an option if you want to get this one you might end up if you want to get the original i would say um you might find it on ebay and it might cost you about a hundred dollars perhaps i need to double check the prices on on how how this one is going but um but this is a great option still and i would really recommend just getting the the um this this version here on the on the right because you never know like uh, tamashi nations will end up releasing a three point body version and <laughs> You don't want to spend a hundred dollars on on a dated uh uh super saiyan um armor um body that it's like i said dated so now let's do a quick size comparison with the other figures so here's a quick size comparison with other figures uh let's start with uh, vegeta this is the latest release of uh re-release of vegeta with the saiyan armor and it has, again, the same aesthetics, uh, glossy or shiny uh, hair as uh, Future Trunks. So they look, they look really nice with this color. Like I said, I, I'm loving the saturated colors on, on, on both of them. So next, we're going to have a Super Saiyan Gohan from the movie um, Dragon Ball Super Heroes, so as you can see. And again, this guy comes with a matted finish uh, Super Saiyan head. Um, it's, you know, you can see why I like this version more than this, but again, I mean, you can, you can send it to a customizer and do those changes for some extra money. Um, then we have Broly from the Super Saiyan, uh, again, Super Saiyan, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. As you can see, this guy is a monster. He's, he's, he's huge. So just a quick comparison. And at last, I'm gonna show you the boy from the future. This is that three point, um, three point version body that uh, Tamashi Nation is it's using. I know they started with uh, Goku from uh, Dragon Ball GT, but as you can see, uh, he looks uh, on the left. He looks thicker. He just he, he looks you know he looks beefy you know compared to to the one on the right which is just a repaint of an old figure so hopefully the machinations will release a three-point uh, body version of the saiyan armor pretty soon i'm sure that the new vegeta scout uh the vegeta the 24,000 level it's uh, a step up to what it used to be with the saiyan armor but it's just not there yet again this is just a comparison with a three-point body and uh, I would say a two-point body. So, so what I like to do for um, installing or just placing this one is, I like to apply some heat. I some people use water. I use the hair dryer, so that way it will soften the plastic and it'll be easier to install the um, the arm cross uh, accessory. So that's gonna be a little bit of noise. So I'm gonna uh, mute it on the video so you guys don't get blasted on your hair uh, headphones. So. Okay, now the figure is warm and I can just technically just pull it and it will come off easy. So you don't even have to like, it won't break. It is technically, it's, look at that. It just come off like butter. So then you extend the butterfly all the way like this. And that's when you install um, this, um, arm cross right here and then it should go you know what i should have heated up but uh, i went in still went in so 
There you go. This is it's the same. The same applies with the with the, um, Vegeta from um, from the new release. It has an arm cross accessory as well, and you just do the same too. Heat up the the um, the arms, and they should come off uh, quite easy. And then you just um, heat up the arm cross as well. And let me see if I can go closer here. There you go. It looks that looks really nice. All right, bonus round. I just wanted to show you what I did here really quick. This is a head swap. Um, this is not a, um, I would say, it technically, it's a head swap, but it's just not, um, it's not attached to the peg. It's attached to a sticky tag that I put in there. But if you bend the, the, the neck peg, or if you just remove it by applying some heat, you'll be able to put this, this, uh, uh, base form uh, trunks from the boy from the future uh, figure and to be honest it doesn't look that bad again let me that let me know down in the comments what you guys think he might look a bit of you know he's he his head might be too big but again proportion wise he looks great to me unless um I have something wrong with my eyes and I'm not seeing what you guys have seen so I just wanted to show it um, that it's possible to do some head swapping if you you know if you do toy photography like I do so just just a quick bonus to to show you that it's possible to do something uh, with this figure besides just showing it as as it is final thoughts about this figure I like what they did with the aesthetics you know they saturated the colors um, you know the face picks look look nicer Overall, I, I like it for $35. It's actually not not bad. It's if you don't have the original go get this one It's about $35 or $40 depending where you get it again Hobby Genki sent me this figure just for for review and unboxing and definitely you should guys go check them out Hobby Genki, I'll leave a link on the description um, and, But I would say get it. It's a very affordable figure and you won't be disappointed so um, i hope you guys like this video and again if you have any questions let me know down in the comments uh, make sure to subscribe to like to all the, do these things from youtube that i mean i, I you know but you know I, I love you guys support and and thank you for watching all right i'll see you guys later bye